Time, which means you have to start from the back or we'll start from an armbar, okay? So you have to do this out. We're going to work from armbar today, some offense and defense to get people ready for that. So um, basically the starting position here, if you do go into overtime, um, you get to kind of set up whatever offense you want and they get to set up whatever defense they want and you sort of go from here. If I get the submission, I win. If Mikhail frees his arm and gets out of the armbar, uh, he wins. So, at least that, that, that's the aim uh, from there. So, I want everyone to be, especially if you're going to compete, uh, have good uh, confidence in your offense and defense from here. All right? um, so, first of all, the most common way you'll lose an armbar, the person will slip their elbow lower than your, your hips. Okay? As soon as the elbow gets lower than the hips, no matter how hard I pull on the, the arm, it will not do anything at all to his arm, okay? So, what I want to finish an armbar is his elbow above my hips, so then I can extend and obviously lift my hips into it as well uh, once the arm's straight, okay? Now, uh, one of the most important things to stop the elbow from, from, from losing the elbow is actually my, using my feet correctly, okay? I'm not trying to pinch his elbow like... Uh, between my knees like this to try and stop him pulling it out. He will get that out uh, if I do that. I actually want to stop his shoulders from moving away. So keep your shoulders exactly where they are and, uh, and try and pull your elbow out. Keep your shoulders. No, don't move your shoulders. Oh, so it should be pretty much impossible, right? Um, so the way he actually retracts his elbow is he'll roll his shoulders away and that gives him room to drop the arm. So what I want my feet to be doing is pulling back against the head and back against the torso, so when he tries to pull his shoulders away, his arm's stuck, okay? So the whole time that I'm trying to apply the armbar pressure, that's gonna help him. All right, the other thing Mikhail obviously wants to do is keep his arm bent. When his arm goes straight, I can finish. Um, and the good thing about that is while his arm's bent, I can put a wedge in, okay? Like this, my hand can work as a wedge. So you can just grab your own arm. So if he tries to pull his arm out now, even without my legs, like, because it's bent, he's stuck. So for him to actually pull that arm out, he kind of has to give me a chance at, at attacking the submission by starting to straighten the, the arm. Okay? So when their arm's bent like that, you always want to get like a wedge through there, and we can start to apply pressure, and we're waiting for that chance. If he tries to escape his arm, that's when we're, uh, that's when we're trying to take it. And, and okay? All right, so let's work the finish first. I'm going to assume Mikhail's holding on nice and tight. Whichever grip he, he wants. Actually, let's go. All right, yeah, let's do that grip then. Cool. There's different ways to deal with different grips, okay? Um, so, feet are going to be pulling in tight. My car is basically on a triangle and he's pushing under my leg here like this. I want a lot of tension on his grip already because I'm going to try and basically push his elbow past his hand, but I need some tension for this to work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lean a little to my left and I'm going to grab my, my hand that I've wedged through, so it's the one on the outside, and I'm going to pull it as high as possible on the thigh. If you want to know if you got the, the correct hand, your other one should be able to grab their leg. So if Mikhail tries to get up on top of me, like this, if I don't grab the leg, you can get on top and start to pressure me. It's much harder to finish yet. So if you're using the correct hand, when he's going to do that, I can grab his leg. Try and get up. There go. He should be stuck, right? Because to get up, he has to be able to retract that leg out underneath. Okay, so Mikhail's got his his uh, grips in place, I'm going to reach through, grab on top of my thigh, like this. I lean a little to my left at first. If, if they're trying to get up, you grab the leg. But I'm actually now going to lean a little bit to the right. Okay, And this should already start to put a bit of tension on the, the arm. And I want you to put as much as you can without giving away what you're going to do. And you're going to start kicking down a little bit, still pulling your heels in nice and tight. And when you get the chance, you're just going to whack the, the elbow. Not like really hard, but with a nice force that it's gonna disconnect his hand, okay? Just like that. Straight away, you've got a fraction of a second where he's gonna try to re-grip the arm because he knows it's bad, but I should be much quicker than that, okay? Well, now I've got his arm, it's impossible for him to re-grip like that. I'm gonna pinch the knees, roll back, and so pinch the arm, okay? So again, Mikhail locks up his grips, 
I'm gonna reach through, grab on top of my thigh, here like this. Make sure it's tight first and then lean, because then your body weight like puts extra pressure on. If you lean and then try and tighten it up, that won't, can you feel the difference? Yeah. So I wanna be like tight when I'm on this side, get it like as high as possible on the thigh, and then I can lean and it puts more pressure, okay? From here, um, I'm ready to, to hit the elbow. I free the hand, grab the end of the lever, which is the wrist, both hands to that, roll back, and then just like make sure you pinch your knees together as you curl your toes back. So it should be very difficult. If I'm keeping backward pressure, he shouldn't be able to walk to his left or right, which a lot of people will do to try and uh, free themselves from the arm bar. My legs are like this, he can walk, and I start to lose the arm a different way. Okay. One more time. We'll lean to the side, get our grip as high as possible. If you need to, grab the leg, fall to the side. Once you've got enough tension, hit, grab the wrist, pull it open, and then we can roll back flat on our back. Okay. You're going to need to practice this too much. Let's just go two minutes each with your partner, and we'll work into some other offensive defense strategies. Okay. Three, two, one. Um, so often the person will grip like Mikhail is here. This is actually less, I think, less effective as a grip, but often they'll find that on the way to that last one anyway. So let's say he does get the this one, and I've like done all the work, and I free it, and often they'll grab that, because they, he can't, like once I'm here, he can't really triangle, try and triangle. Like it's, it, that'll give me a chance to open the arm more. So often I'll just grab, and that's enough to make it difficult for me to finish. Now, I, uh, I'm not a big fan of just like trying to pull back as hard as I can. You'll do this if you're way stronger than them, but it's pretty high strain on your back. Uh, so there's better ways to do things, as usual, in Jiu Jitsu. Um, so, I'm just going to choose a side, and it doesn't really matter. I get his elbow to the left, or his elbow to the right. But what that's going to do is clear an angle to attach my chest to the wrist, like this, okay? Because once my wrist is attached to the, to the chest, uh, once his wrist is attached to my chest, then I can use my body weight to start to, to break the grip. And I can rotate sideways, so he's strong like resisting me straight back, but he's not that strong resisting shoulder rotation. Like this. That's effectively what I'm going to try to do. Um, but straight ahead of me, I try and attach my chest to his wrist, the elbow's in the way. Yeah? So I need to just move the elbow. It can be left or right, it doesn't matter. Okay? Left or right. And as soon as you do that, I want you to get like a, like a rear naked choke grip. So that you're, it's going to stick the wrist right to your chest. Like this. Okay? Make sure you're at the end of the lever, which is the wrist, not here. Because here he can fight this really well. Yeah? Up here, it's much harder for him to fight. Okay? And then you're just going to fall uh, in that, uh, the side that his hand's on, not his elbow, is the side you're going to fall to. Okay? So whether I had here, I'm going to fall to this way, if I had it on this side, I'm going to fall this way. Okay? Um, but we're going to get there, we attach our chest to the, to the arm, fall to the side, and we can start to break the grip that way. Okay? As soon as it breaks, you just roll back onto your back, and you get the arm back. Same on the other side. Okay? So elbow out of the way. Chest in, rear naked choke grip, fall to the side, break the grip, roll to the back. Okay? Let's give it a go. Two minutes each. Three, two, one.